What is up, Lead Generation Nation? Today, we, I'm going to be talking about the awesome new tool I've been playing around with called the Genius Messenger CRM. Wow. We're going to be talking about what the Genius Messenger CRM is, how to use it to close deals, and most importantly, make money. So right before we begin, if you haven't got it, go and grab my seven day free trial over here and you will get it for seven days. You can try it out and then yeah, close some deals, make some money. So let's dive into the tutorial. Once you have got the free trial, you'd want to go over here and get it, download it, add it to your Chrome store. It is this little extension over here. That's what it'll look like. And you obviously want to be logged into Facebook on your browser, right? So what is the Genius CRM? Okay. What is it? It is a CRM for Facebook. It allows you basically to organize your inbox. Now, they, that is the very like surface level function of it. The better function of it is it allows you to do things such as broadcasting and closed deals, which I'm going to show you about right now. So as you can see here, I've been able to label each person by what they are and aspects like that. Now this gets handy with the broadcasting I'm about to show you. So go ahead over here, click on the little icon, and we are going to start adding the different types of tags right so these are the tags that i use that i've been effectively been quite effective with so i have cold prospect right and as you can see i have 35 cold prospects i have 10 people in our let's say high ticket program i have six affiliate partners i have eight virtual assistants i have a lot of spam 13 spam and i have 20 clients on facebook now you usually want to pull the clients onto your support system um, my support system is support.jasonclothlin.com. You want to pull them onto something like this. You don't want to leave them on Facebook. So these are the tags. So in order to start making the tags, all you do is click up here and you would click add tag. You're going to need tags to start off. So you'd enter tag name. So let's say, um, uh, old clients let's make that old clients or ex clients and you have created a tag now you would go down to it over here and you would click and edit it so i want to make my old clients let's say i want to make them yellow i don't have a yellow tag and now my old clients are going to be yellow now from there i can go down here and i can change people to old clients i just have to refresh but it should be yellow uh yeah it should be yellow and as you can see it says one over there i would have to refresh the screen now that's what you have to do to get set up i would ideally recommend having cold prospect having like any virtual assistance and you want to have cold warm and client so i label that blue orange and green that's the standard of what you want and then obviously any friends right then you want to go over to once you've labeled all of them you want to go over let's say to warm prospect right click on the warm prospects tag now you'll see all these warm leads these are people that we would maybe want to have it like have a deal with so let's say I've been talking the whole week. I've been adding people using like another software, um, Client Prospects Pro, and I've been getting people in my, my pipeline. Now I want to blast out a message to them. I would go broadcast. It would take them over here. I would go create broadcast. And I would send them a big broadcast saying, hey guys, get in before this deal ends, etc., etc., stuff like that. But before we get into that, we would first have to go, see when you automate on Facebook, you obviously do not want to be sending the same message to everyone else, or you want to have 
like timing in between on the sending, right? You want to build something that is called a message segment. So these are variations of the message. And we also want to personalize the message. So go ahead and click on message segments, right? And over here, create message segment and type it in title, um, my special offer. Now remember the strategy now is to push a deal to warm prospects. Yeah, and you'd obviously make more by talking to them in the CRM, etc. My special offer. And then we could go, hey, first name, create another block. So you are on the fence about my Google Ads offering. How would a Friday discount of 25% south? That's just an example, all avoid the setup fee, etc. Save the message segments. And now we have our special offer. So we would go here and we'd select this one over here, save it. And we would now want to go about broadcasting the message. So create a broadcast, we would choose the label. So we'd go tags. We would go warm prospect, select tag, select gender, doesn't really matter, any gender interval. I usually put this at five minutes. Um, you can schedule it later. So as I said, let's, it was for Friday. So let's put this bad boy on Friday. Okay, got it on Friday now. List the number of people to broadcast to. And then you would go ahead and hit send broadcast. And then there's lots of actions you can do with it. When you get the software, you can mess around with it. You can change tags and stuff. I'm not going to send this broadcast out now, but that is basically what would happen, right? And then it would go through and it would start sending an in a message to each person on Facebook. Now you can imagine how much better this is on then like, let's say an email, you've been talking to these people, you've been getting them interested in your services, whether that be through, let's say, an opt in you've had, or correspondence on Facebook and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, I hope that helps. Uh, this can be used for any niche, you obviously got to be creative about it. But that is how you would go about doing that you'd push a deal to warm prospects once you have listed all of them out and send drip it to them slowly i'm jace mclaughlin lead generation nation i hope i could help and i'll see you soon bye